Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... together at the shareholders event right looking forward to seeing you too take care let's see ya salut hi thanks for coming in i know you're busy so i reviewed some of your data pretty raw stuff obviously we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en acquiesce. I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find, and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy. Before I find a reason to hate you, too.
locked door. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do too. Don't abuse it. Log on and I'll walk you through this. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See, that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. Copy as shit. You could use some practice. What? What? No, no, no. I followed that recipe to the letter. It's an art show. Yeah. 
I've been pushing it to five, six hours. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude and made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Wow. Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a... You're an employee, doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Niveau 2, Projet Echantillon 17. Support to the second floor, Sample 17 project. monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them or they will destroy your data and send it back home. How is he? Our three, doing well. Are we still in 18th century Hungary? No, 
His connection is so stable, he's jumped between a few ancestors today. We're in 15th century France now. Turns out he's related to one of Joan of Arc's executioners. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, Eileen, yesterday Vidic asked me to help him work out some of the bugs in his audiovisual renderer, uh, and I told him... No, no, no. Come on, Satish, not you. It wouldn't be permanent. Uh, a few months at most. Months? That will kill every ounce of momentum we have. It won't, I promise. Honestly, I think this could help us. If, if I can get a look at what these people are doing, we could... Come on. He's trying to pull you over to his side. Don't you see that? He's luring you with quick victory and prestige. That's not what this is about, honestly. I need to get back to work. Eileen, I'm sorry. Do what you must. I'll survive. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, April 2nd, 1981. Host Eileen Bock. DNA sample SV1970. Miriam. Miriam, are you awake? What? Miriam, they're coming for me. Who oh, is it? The guards? I see them from my window, amassing in the courtyard. My time is up. But oh, don't say this. You don't know that. Forgive me for this, Miriam. But I must tell you something. The artifact. We have it. But only Oscar and I know its location. Don't tell me. So we will release you. Your family has connections. You must take the artifact and bring it to the assassins in Paris. Please don't. I don't want to know. It's safer if I don't. Hush now. If I die, knowledge of its location dies with me. You must bring it to the assassins. Assassins? I don't understand. The spy of St. Petrus. No, I don't want to hear. Seven. 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 Hello? Eileen, hi. It's Carl. Carl, I know it's you. Sorry, you just sound exhausted. Did I wake you? No, no, I'm... I've just been busy. It sounds like it. I'm just a little tired, that's all. No, I mean, your your project sounds fascinating. Your colleague, Dr. Warren Vidic, he called me recently and he told me what you've been up to. He what? Warren? Yeah, he told us about your research. Memories, ancestry, all of that. He even asked if we'd be willing to come in and... No! Jesus, no! What the hell is he doing? Eileen, it's okay. We signed some papers, non-disclosure stuff. No! He's trying to fuck me over. Damn it! Eileen, we just talked about my mother. Just like you and I did. World War II. That's all. It's the artifact. The what? Carl, if he calls you again, you tell him you work through me, okay? That's it. Vidic has been a pain in my ass for years. And I don't need him getting all the glory for my two years of hard work. All right. Uh, so how should I go about this? I mean, the wheels are in motion. I... I don't know. Just go through me if he contacts you again. Please? All right. You'll do that? Of course. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I'm sorry I was short with you. I've just been exhausted. That's all. It's all right, hon. Just, just take care of yourself. Morning, Eileen. We're almost ready. Just a few more adjustments. Hmm. Okay. I had the team do some research on this artifact we've been chasing, and it appears the Third Reich actually found something matching its description sometime in 1940. Uh, Eileen, are you all right? Sorry, yeah. I'm fine. Just a little... scattered. Biddick called my ex-husband last night. He wants to put him in the Animus. To find the artifact before us? Exactly. Well, it would be fast using Vidic's Animus. And maybe that would get us back to our original work. Satish, if we let that happen, then all our money dries up. Lillian is paying for us to find the artifact, not improve our methods. Do you understand? Right, of course. I'm sorry. Let's just... let's just burn those bridges when we cross them. Are we ready? Yes, just a few more adjustments, Senori. I made a small change to the genetic input modulator. I'm hoping that buys us a few more minutes. Even a few seconds would be nice. I'm ready. All right. Settle in.
it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. Of course, I guess it's just a few seconds for you. A little leap down the playlist. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking about Clay. Uh, Kesmeric, uh, subject 16. So, when I fell into a coma back in Italy and woke up in the Animus Black Room, it was um, so calming. 